All right, guys, you've seen these kits on Facebook. You might have seen these somewhere else. It's Dura Coating Dura Dressing. It's a tire kit. Stuff is supposed to last three or four months. Uh, won't turn brown, washable, waterproof, no stained driveway, no fling, dry to the touch, and rainproof. Now, I've used this on uh, both my vehicles. I'm getting ready to do my wife's um, tires right now. Now, these tires aren't that dirty. They're fairly new. Um, she probably only has maybe 1,000 or 1,200 miles on them. Um, but we're going to show this in real time. And here we go. First thing you're going to want to do is get out the Dura Cleaner and... I, I have had good luck spraying the tire with water first or just using this, but we're going to go ahead and do this first instead of the water. And it's not going to be on here very long, so don't worry about your wheels. I'm spraying this on the rubber. We're going to use the included brush here and just kind of go over it. You're going to want to get up over the top of the tire here where the tread touches the the road because you're going to want to do that too now it does come with the kit does come with gloves and things like that just for safety purposes i'll tell you to go ahead and use the gloves uh i haven't used the gloves it doesn't seem to be a big deal at least on my skin anyway now you'll see here see how it's starting to turn brown that means that you're pulling off any dirt or debris uh old you know, like armor all or what have you. Okay, once you do that really good, take your hose, spray it off. Look at all that dirt coming right off. And I haven't even worked up a sweat. Okay, now you're gonna wanna do this three times. All right, spray it off, spray it again. Just give it a light coat like this. All right, get the tire brush out again. I usually clean the tire brush off all right, there we go. Clean it off, it starts new. So you're going to see that it's a little bit soapier. All right, but look how white, it's, it's much whiter. Okay, that means that it's working. You got the majority of the dirt off, but you're still going to see some. All right. Make sure you get around the tire really well. You might even have to move the car up a little bit, like put it in drive and actually park or uh, uh, move it up a little bit to get under here really well which i'll do here in a little bit all right it's still a little bit brown but it's more tan than anything all right once you do that use the hose spray it off again and we're going to do it one more time now depending on how dirty your tire is you might have to do it four times five times whatever it takes but you're gonna to wanna to do it again until this stuff just turns white and it's not really pulling off any more dirt anymore. All right, we're gonna go ahead and clean off the brush and we're gonna do this again. So for the most part, this tire is actually pretty clean. Now, all right, make sure you get around the edges again. You're gonna to wanna to clean it the exact same way. Get there right next to the wheel really well. Try to pull off as much dirt as you can. Guys, when they tell you in the directions that the cleaning is the most important part, that is no joke. It really is the most important part. All right. Clean it like that. And for this tire, that is it. Like I said, you guys might need to do yours four times, five times, until you're comfortable. You've got plenty of cleaner. This one here happens to be the, the XL size, because um, I knew that I have a few vehicles that I want to do this with. All right, and that is it. All right, guys, part two of the Dura Coating Dura Dressing Tire Kit. We've already cleaned it. We are now going to use the Dura dressing that it comes with. And it does come with this sponge here. Um, I actually like the green side as opposed to the uh, gray side. It's just a preference. I might use it here. The, the, the sponge that I had before this did not look like this. It looked more like this one here. It didn't have this angle. So 
you do whatever you need to do. What we're gonna do, I'm gonna start at the top and go all the way around, making sure you get up over into this upper part of the tread, okay, where it touches the, uh, where it touches the, the, the ground. You wanna try to coat as much of this as you can. So at first, this is a new sponge, so it's gonna wanna, it's not gonna wanna soak in. It'll take this tire for this stuff to soak in, and then you can just start pouring this on here, and it's not gonna leak out. All right, so I'm gonna go like this. Oh, let me open the, open the tip. This is also a new, a new tip for me. The other one wasn't like that. So I'm just gonna kind of do this. You see how it pulls up? I don't know if you can see it in the camera or not. We're gonna let it pull up a little bit right through, right through here. Maybe pour a little bit more on. See if we can get it to go inside this sponge a little bit. And it's running around a little bit, but that's no big deal. All right, so what we're gonna do is start at the top and just kind of go around. Now, one of the things you're gonna see about this is that in the sunlight, which they say not to do, but sometimes you have no choice. I'm here in Florida and it's quite a bit sunny. This stuff has a blue tinge to it. Uh, so I think it's, it, I think that's a UV tracer. Uh, I could be wrong. In my line of work, I use glue, uh, glues that have UV tracers in it. And if that's not the case here, oh well, but you can actually see it go on. It's got a nice blue, blue tinge to it, even though it's white. Um, get as close as you can to the, to the wheel, right here at the edge, get as close as you can. Uh, if you get it on your wheel, just wipe it off, okay? You're gonna wanna work it into all these little nooks and crannies of the tire, because this is all gonna show and it's all gonna um, get this uh, get this Dura dressing in it and just keep pouring it on. Now keep in mind, the basic kit that you can get for this is $39 or something like that. It does all four tires, obviously. I even had a little bit left over um, on my Jeep, since Jeeps have five five wheels. Um, I had a little bit left over to do touch-ups and things like that, which could uh, could happen for you. But make sure you push it into all these little nooks and crannies of your tire. Okay, it has to get everywhere, and make sure you go around the entire the entire car going all the way around to the, out the edges. Guys, and that's pretty much it. All right, it's the same process on all the other tires. And uh, you have enough here to, to go over them a few times if you need to. Uh, do little touch-ups, just make sure you push it all into the, into the tire, into the tread really good. You wanna make sure that this tire is completely covered because it's gonna turn out really, really nice. All right, All I'll right. show you some pictures here Round afterwards. Two. So basically the same thing. The next step is once you do the tire with the dressing, you're gonna let it dry uh, and then you're gonna reapply it. You can apply it two, three times. Um, my other vehicles, I've done them a few times. Same process, it's actually a little bit easier this time. And basically just go over it again, same thing. As you can see, do all four tires and you are good to go see how it goes into the sponge a little bit easier once you start using the sponge make sure you get along the edge of the wheel all right and it's going to be that same blue color so that you can see where you applied it which makes it really nice and that will turn clear once it dries Make sure you work it into all your letters and and sit there and go like this, you know, push it into the into the, the tread on the side here a little bit on the wall. All right. I'm probably gonna do this one more time after this one dries, but as soon as it dries, I'll do that and we will be all good right, to All right, three go. coats down. You can see it's got a really nice shine on it. All right, we'll check out the other one. Now these are still drying. Um, you can see that there's a little bit of buildup right in there. If you want to clean that out, that's fine. It's not a big deal. It's all going to dry clear. It's going to dry real nice. And I want to show you how important it is to get this stuff in all the little nooks and crannies. As you can see here, all these little tiny areas here um, need, to, need to be done. So if you have a more aggressive tire, 
then you're really gonna have to dig it in uh, and make sure it gets all, right, all these guys, little nooks that and crannies here. That was less than an hour, probably 40 minutes. Um, now I've done two other vehicles and obviously you get better and you get quicker at it. Uh, you'll take your time. Again, cleaning is the most important part of this because this dura dressing, this tire dressing is an easy step. I mean, even the cleaning's easy. You saw in the video how, how quick it is. So get you guys some of this because this stuff is really, really nice. And uh, let me show you my truck and what it looks like. Let's go over here. Now I did my truck a month ago and I washed my truck about a week ago. But you can see here, that is a month right there. And look how good that stuff still looks. Now I'm driving in brown mulch right here. Well, most of it is anyway. But you can see how, how good that looks. It's still nice and shiny. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps out. Talk to you later.